Hi everyone, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Revit Family Basics. Uh, we're going to recap our last episode real quick. We talked about, or we continued talking about forms, uh, just remembering that's all up here. So we covered our, our revolve, the sweep, the swept blend, and the void forms. Uh, today we're kind of be we're going to be diving into uh, how we control visibility within the families and how that ties into our projects. Um, and to be honest, it's just going to be way too much to try and cover in one episode. So we're going to do what we can. But we're going to start with family categories. We're going to go into subcategories. We're going to look at yes no parameters for controlling visibility. We're going to talk about the visibility settings of an element and we're going to be talking about adding in symbolic lines. Um, all right, so let's dive right into it. So if we go up here into our properties and we click on this family category and parameters, this is going to be the first way that we can control the visibility of our families within our projects. So I think everyone knows or maybe knows um, that there's different family categories uh, in our Revit projects. So right now, this one is categorized as a generic model. So if we go into a project and we go into our view visibility settings by hitting VV on our keyboard, um, these are the different family or model categories that we see up here. So I could potentially turn off generic models to be able to turn all of them on or off in a specific view. Here, I'll do that. I'll show you how that works real quick. So we're gonna load this in. We're gonna place one. And when I go to VV and generic models and uncheck that category, when we hit apply, it will be gone. So that's our first way and probably one of the easiest way to control visibility in our projects. Um, so there's ways that we can control portions of a family or or the whole family. So if we click on one of our extrusions, uh, there's this part down here that says subcategory. So if I hit this drop down right here, uh, it says hidden lines. If we want to create different subcategories for different parts we can go into uh oh sorry into manage and then our object styles here and then we can add a new subcategory so i'm going to call one of these base and one of these top so if i click on this element here and choose base and this one here and choose top and I load these back into my project uh, I'm going to overwrite the existing version all right when we have this uh, selected here or unselected doesn't really matter if we go into VV and look at our model categories here if we plus this out under generic models you'll see that those two subcategories that we created are now in here so if we, I'm trying to make this so you can see it, sorry. Uh, if we uncheck the base and hit apply, you'll see that part of it turns off. And then if we hit the top and hit apply, then part of it turns off. And then if we recheck them again and then just uncheck generic models, it'll turn the whole thing off. So subcategories are pretty cool and they're a pretty pretty nice and easy way to control visibility within your projects. Um, once you have created a subcategory, you can re recreate that same subcategory from family to family and you can turn a mass amount of things off at once. So why would you need, or why would you want to do something like this? Um, I guess one of the things would be, this is a family that uh, that we create and we use. It's a, a electrical panel. We have our logo embedded into it. We have some some clearances and then some model text on the front. Uh, and this is loaded into a job right now. And there's instances where 
Uh, I'm gonna go in here real quick, kind of show you. There's instances where you might not want to see the clearance zone. So if we we look here, this is under electrical equipment. Um, so if I go down to generic models, which is actually an embedded family into our electrical equipment, um, we can see that there's these other subcategories down here. So if I uncheck the clearance zone, it'll turn off all of our clearance zones. If I uncheck uh, the BIMTM branding, I can get rid of all of our logos at once. And if I turn off model text equipment label, I can turn all of our equipment labels off at once. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it has a lot of uses. It's pretty pretty powerful across an entire project. Um, you can, Like I said before, you can, or maybe I didn't say this before, I can't really remember. You can add those same subcategories into multiple families, um, making sure that the naming convention is the same and you can turn off or turn on or control a mass amount of things all at once. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much all we have time for today. Uh, we're gonna go into our yes, no parameters, our visibility settings of an element and our adding symbolic lines in a future episode. So stay tuned for those. Um, and once again, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Bye.